what's going on YouTube thank you for tuning in to KF Scooter Motor Blogs well this is going to be the first ride with the Ice Bear Hawkeye 150cc I barely just went about a half a block right now come straight to the uh, to the gas station as you can see topped it off so as I've been promising you guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this video off with the first ride of the Hawk Hawk, or the Hawkeye 150cc one thing I already noticed it feels like I'm gliding on top of uh, like uh, the surface unlike with hope I feel every nick and cranny this feels like I'm just smooth selling and it's got a lot of power guys I like the scooter a lot I noticed just from the what I'm experiencing right now it's a 2021 uh, I just I guess it is uh, yeah right here on the plate it says it's been manufactured in 2021 and it's really uh, the like the littlest the littlest turn makes the scooter go and uh, I could really uh, feel the extra power it's got compared to the 50cc so a big shout out to uh, Kachi's kid you're right bro you said I'm not gonna have no problem with traffic passing me and I'm definitely not going to have no problem with power and uh, that's one thing I'm experiencing right off the bat right now big shout out to you bro thanks for the heads up those bumps would have killed me right now and with this here uh, 150cc I'm not feeling those bumps because I have bigger wheels I feel them but not like I would on uh, Sally man I'm only doing a just a like a not even a I'm doing like two centimeters worth of the turn on the throttle I'm not even experienced quarter throttle yet damn that car be smoking I'm not trying to go uh, full throttle right now guys as I'm breaking her in there's a lot of different theories about breaking in a scooter so from my understanding is these are the uh, the important this is an important time where the motor is actually seating itself you know all the parts that's grinding together they're making their own grooves and you know especially with the piston rings so I'm just going to try to take it nice and easy for the first month tell you the truth until uh, I do my until I get to my second oil change I believe almost to my third I'm going to do my first oil change coming about 250 kilometers well everything else I got this is switch up this is in miles per hour and I believe I'm not doing kilometers no more it's in miles yeah, so Hope, I mean, uh, Sally, I said Hope. I'm thinking about Kachi's kid. His scooter's named Hope. Man, this is a lot, a lot better, guys. I'm not even looking, just barely twisting the throttle, barely. I can't imagine what it would do if I uh, gave it all the way full throttle. thinking I might need a bigger jet guys right now I'm experiencing a little uh, as I gave it a little bit more gas than usual right now and I noticed it puttered a little bit let me try to see what happened yeah it needs a I think it needs a more bigger of a jet I could give it a little gas and I could tell that it's starving for uh, fuel or something. It does good when you're just cruising. So I think I do need to check out my jet sizes, guys. 
you got to remind yourself that these scooters uh, actually do come for different elevations and stuff so if i bought it from way down south or across uh, some different state well if it came from china no doubt but um from what i'm noticing right now even when i was idling it remember when the scooter came i was uh telling you guys it's out of idle i fixed that but as i was tuning the idle i kept on hearing it puttered like a like uh if it was not getting enough gas or something so it might just be a simple uh, uh carburetor tuning i need to do but it's really running nice right now it's just something very little that i i noticed that it just needs a little adjustment what a trip man that orange light scared me at first i was like why am i having engine light and just every time i put on my brakes it comes on Man, this is smooth selling, guys. Smooth selling. My idle's a little bit too high. Look it. Oh, I'm all look it. It ain't nothing happening now. But as you can see, look at my RPMs right there. It shouldn't be way up there. It should be underneath two, somewhere about one and a half, one. And it's way up there at three. Three and a quarter. So my idling is way off right now. That could be a good reason too why my scooter acting a little weird as I was uh, climbing up the overpass right now. I really believe that this here scooter needs to be tuned in with the right jet and the, then the idle act right. Yeah, that's not where the idle is supposed to be at one, uh, one bit. It's supposed to be low. Man, but I'm telling you guys, what a, this is a good payoff. All this time I've been waiting, which was uh, three months and uh, about a week and a half. And uh, within those three months and a week and a half, working with the company I've not worked with before, I had a lot of different thoughts, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, man, are they going to lollygag me around? Actually pulled in here right now. Got a little sketched out from the cop. You know it's a trip, man. And this is something back in, before I actually uh, settled out my life. You know, so calm down and all that. That's a uh, hard. I mean, not that I got anything that I'm hiding or anything, but I noticed that that's what I do these days, and it's not right, man. That's just from. Uh, that's my natural reflexes before was to try to avoid any cop and uh today i live a new life you know i'm not hiding anything or any and i noticed that i went through the same it's just a reaction i guess my body has you know my brain has
but yeah man I used to be a knucklehead before and uh and gave my life to the Lord asked the Lord for help man and guidance and you know I repented and the last four years of my life four and a half years now man I've just been living life right and enjoying everything of life so I think I can easily I think I, it's fair to say I finally got it right man in my 40s better late than never Yeah, I'm do, I am experiencing something. Let me share it with you guys so you guys can help me uh, diagnose this. I really believe it's a jet size that needs to be uh, corrected. But um, this is what I'm experiencing, guys. If I start giving it some gas, I'm feeling that it's starting to, like, uh, it's starving from something. Man. I could feel that it's missing. Like, uh, well, you can't, now there it goes. It's starting to go and give out, go and give out. I don't know what that's from, but I believe it's uh, something to do with tuning in the carburetor a little bit better. Whoa, let me go ahead and put... Man, these ABS brakes work great. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn back around, go to the burrito truck. I'm only supposed to be going to the burrito truck right now, grabbing a gallon of milk, but I had to go for a ride. Definitely gotta fix my idol. Kachi's kid, anybody else that got a 150cc scooter, can you tell me uh what what size uh, jet, main jet or anything I should be working with right here? Pilot jet, main jet for Central California. I appreciate it because uh tuning the carburetors out of my area, I'm not done that yet. Nice little ride. Man, it's a trip. It's only we only went five miles right now, guys. I'm trying to come up with a name for her. Kachi's kid, anybody that knows Kachi's kid, he's well known in the scooter community. He got a YouTube channel out there and stuff. He uh, told me, uh, he asked me, but so have you got, uh, came up with a name for her yet? When he commented, we were commenting back and forth. And that's in the back of my mind now. Making up a good name. And it's gotta be a girl name. I always name um, all my cars and motorcycles and scooters after a girl. Yeah, see, look, at, I push on full throttle, so it does great. Uh, I I know people who could diagnose a carburetor by what are the symptoms between is it in the lower throttle or is it after like half throttle to you know almost full throttle, and that's why I'm experiencing it past halfway throttle. Once I go past half throttle, it's starting to putter, and you know, so basically, I, I watched enough YouTube videos and stuff to understand that that is a jet problem, I believe. But uh, I've not done no jet work, not done no carburetor work like that, other than just messing with the idle. So I surely could appreciate some guidance here, some uh, advice. I haven't took off the plastic film off of this yet.
Man, this scooter wants to go. I'm holding it back with my legs right now, guys. I got the idle way too up. Not way, way up. Way, way up would be way up there by the fire with the eight. But I got it freaking <laughs> not not too comfortable right now. There's a female rider right behind me. You guys see her in the mirror? Hey, you know that's a trip. It feels good to be able to not have cars on, on your rear end no more, man. I would have been putting along with Sally and uh, I would beat them from the, I would beat, I would beat anybody off from the stop light, basically, you know, but within a half a block or a block. What the hell was that noise? Alright, this rider's gonna come up to the right of me, guys. Let's check out a motorcycle. Damn it! I thought it was a scooter. And I thought it was a female. Or is it a female? No, it looks like a male to me. Alright, guys. Before my family start worrying about me, I am gonna have to head back. But I did want to keep my word and put up a video for you guys today. Damn, I heard a backfire right now. A slight backfire. I'm definitely going to be on the scooter group page right now. Anybody that's not aware, man, I did start a, a scooter group page for, you know, support, advice, all that from Facebook, you know. So if you'd like, man, join over to Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs Facebook group. And uh, we got like 11 members there right now. Hopefully that we're you know we're gonna gain more in the future. But with the 11 members we do got on there, we're responsive guys. So don't think that you guys ain't gonna hear back no advice or nothing, because we do keep uh, we do keep tabs on watching who's re um, leaving anything on that page, and we'll respond to it right away. So what I'm gonna do is get back home and ask for a little advice. Why my scooter be doing this? So. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit scattered, man. I'm talking about all sorts of different things. But um, it is my first ride, guys, with the uh, Ice Bear 150cc. And we're going to have better uh, experiences yet to come with her. Hope everybody has a beautiful day. Well, it's not over yet. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. We gotta go to the top of the truck. Here we go, here we go. Good Lord, everybody and their mothers are here. You know what, I'm gonna go off to this other one. This has way too many people. I ain't trying to sit here no damn 40 minutes. Here we go. I knew I made a good decision by doing that. All right, what I like about this, guys, as soon as I put down the kickstand, watch, it dies. <laughs> and I just had a good habit turn everything else off. I put on the saddlebags because I know I'm going to go to the store right now. And, but yeah, man, I put the everything together today. Got my license plate, got the uh, storage box, got the fender. Got everything set up, man. Looking good. The burritos for the family and I. 
And my dog is crazy. I do uh, bring my dog an all meat burrito. Not every day, but maybe once a week. I think I'm a big, uh, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Contributor to her overweight, you know? I just don't feel right, man, going home eating a nice freaking burrito in front of my dog. But in the long run, I'm not doing the best thing for her neither. All right, let's see, everything looking good here? Uh, gotta get used to the switches. They're, so, they're similar uh, to my 50cc, but just gotta still double check. So just different dash, you know? And I'm loving that, just little, little twist of the throttle. It's almost going like half throttle of my 50cc. Normally when I pull out of stuff like that, I would be full throttle on my 50cc. <laughs> I can't down, I can't down my uh, girl Sally like that though, man. She's been a good faithful scooter for a whole year. And uh, we're still going to have some good times. I'm not going to forget about her. Got to pick up some milk. And that would be right here. What's up, brother? All right, I'll catch you guys in a little bit.